Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutzy Gaming and episode 6 of The Hunt for Amazeblood. Now, the plan was not to bring out another video this soon, and no, I'm sorry, I haven't bought it out this soon because I've hit Amazeblood, but I have bought it out because I've been classing Rog as basically a second class citizen, and been treating him quite badly, if I'm honest. So, what I actually thought I'd do is use my Rog currency to try and do a bit of crafting, and the results were actually pretty staggering. Now, I don't have any footage for it because, as I said, I was just doing it to get rid of the currency. Um, but after looking on YouTube and a couple of Reddit posts, it looks like targeting certain items can be really profitable. Um, so what I'm doing for ROG is purely targeting dex based boots and dex based gloves in the hope for the gloves to get high spell suppression, high attack speed or accuracy. And then for boots, I'm looking for spell suppression, movement speed, life, and then either resistances or stats for Omni builds. Now, so far, it's actually been ridiculously profitable. Um, I've sold one pair of gloves so far for five exalts. I'm starting to think I might have underpriced it because they sold pretty quick. It was essentially a pair of gloves. It had T1 accuracy, T1 spell suppression, T1 life, and it had an open prefix. Um, and it did sell within about five minutes of me putting it up for sale, but it was only the one whisper I had. So, if someone's got a bargain, great, good for them. I still got 5x to boost up my logbook buy-in. Um, now, since the last video, I've sold my level 4 Enlightened that I gambled up, got 21x for that, just so I could buy the Forbidden Jewels for my Winter Orb character, and I still don't particularly like it anywhere near as much as my Lightning Strike character, and that's with, I would say, around 100x invested, uh, but I'm going to carry on pumping money at it until it feels good. Um, but we'll get back to the matter in hand. So I briefly explained how I craft with Rog, and it is really that simple. I'm just re-rolling suffixes constantly until I get, you know, spell suppression and attack speed or accuracy. And then I'm trying to get ones that boost the level up. If I don't get good prefixes, as long as the suffix is good, I can still sell the item or I can try and risk a re-roll with some Eldritch currency. So I'll just show you the stash in the items that I've got left for sale. Now I've priced these all pretty cheaply compared to what else is on the market. If they don't sell, I'll just reduce the price. So we have the first item here, which is a pair of boots. It's got T2 spell suppression, T1 dex, T1 lightning resistance, and T1 life with crafted movement speed. So I may have said these are gloves, they're obviously boots. Um, really decent pair of boots, as I say, crafted purely through ROG with then movement speed and onslaught crafted on. I've uh, got another pair of boots, this time with T3 spell suppression, T1 chaos res, T1... Uh, life, 30% movement speed, and really high fire resistance. So these boots are really, really good. They'll 100% sell. If they don't sell for 2x, I'll drop them to 1. Next item is the last pair of boots that I've got. And it's really just a resist monster, as you can see from the screen. It's got two T1 rolls and one T2 roll for resistances. 30% MS, T1 evasion, and then crafted life. These again will 100% sell. If they don't sell for three, I'll drop them to two. And then the last item is a pair of gloves. Ignore the Eldritch mods. I just put these on there so I could recraft the item because the prefixes um, were really bad. And this is a pair of gloves with T1 attack speed, T1 spell suppression, T1 evasion, T1 lightning damage to attacks, and then crafted life. Manor on kill is not too bad. It's just a shame that that isn't another mod because that would make these gloves ridiculously expensive. As they are, I've priced, priced them at five, um, which seemed fairly reasonable because there's not much on the market that's similar. Again, if I have to drop it by a couple of exalts, then I will. And yeah, they're my results from ROG so far. And it wasn't a huge amount. I think I had like 25 um, reroll tokens because if I'm honest, I was actually totally ignoring him in maps. And eventually I thought, look, let's use these items, rerolls and currency and see how I get on. And was really, really happy with the results. Now, even if I have to half the price on all these items, these will still get in six exalts. Add that onto the five I got for selling the gloves earlier. And that's a crazy return for essentially an NPC that I thought was useless. So let's forget about ROG for now. And then let's move on to the actual task of how did I go with Gwenin? And well, history repeats. Dreadful. Did another 250 rerolls. Still not hit one item that's worth any money. Luckily, Tujin is continuing to supply me with the odd exalt, some good 21-20 gems, 
and various stuff that I can sell to keep funding my addiction on Gwen and Gambling. Uh, Danig finally appeared in a couple of logbooks, uh, sorry, a couple of expeditions, got some currency from him and did manage to get a couple of decent logbooks from him. So overall, even with the awful way Gwenin is treating me, even though I treated her to a steak dinner with onion rings, she still disrespected me. And you can tell the lucky lady she is guaranteed a steak meal. A steak meal? <laughs> Guaranteed. Do you want to put that on your floppy disk or what? <laughs> but luckily, I'm making good money from all the other NPCs, and I am actually quite enjoying farming the expedition. And just the kind of hope and expectation that you might get a good item is still driving me forward. In regard to ritual, it's not really paying off. It takes quite a while, even when I'm getting like you know really decent amounts of favor and three four five re-rolls i'm still not finding much any good so i may i may keep them in and then just sell the blood filled vessels or i may just switch them out and put something else in so overall in the long run to summarize i'm um, around 1150 to 1200 re-rolls with gwenin still nothing to show for it but i'm managing to get this currency quite quick um so i am actually confident i'm going to hit something before the end of this series and I'm definitely going to pay Rog a bit more respect going forward as potentially with Eldridge crafting, his items have potential to be absolutely amazing. Like last league, they were okay, but because influence items were the way that everyone went, Rog was kind of, you had to get really lucky to get a good item with him because you had to hit the influence and then get the mods. Whereas now that Eldridge crafting is a thing, all you need is a really, really good pair of, you know, boots, gloves, chest, whatever it is, and you're going to make yourself some money. So I'm definitely going to pay him much more respect going forward and actually start doing him when I find him in expeditions. Um, obviously, in regard to the mage blood hunt, the journey continues, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and see you in the next video.